Chronic ankle instability, here are four manual muscle tests that are great to use for this. We can change the strength of this with acupuncture, so you want to assess before and after the treatment. With chronic ankle stability, often the pronius group, the pronius longus brevis, and maybe even the tertius will often be weak. Tibialis posterior can be weak as well. Uh, when those muscles are weak, it's then the second line of defense will be the ligaments. The person will usually continue to sprain their ankle. So let's make sure that those muscles are going to be back in alignment. So um, Heidi does have some chronic ankle instability from multiple ankle sprains. Let's take a look and see what kind of strength that she has. So with the ankle moving up into dorsiflexion and into eversion, I stabilize underneath the calcaneus. My driving hand, my pericardium 8, is going to go over stomach 42, gallbladder 41 region. My line of drive is into plantar flexion and inversion. Here we go. I'm going this way. You keep me from doing that. And hold. And she's pretty strong, which is great. All right, so then now, pronius longus and brevis is a manual muscle test as a group. We go into plantar flexion. And it's a very small motion. We're going into eversion, very small motion. We can see here the peroneal tendons, right? So we're going to elongate those tendons. I take the web of my hand right over the UB65 region. My radius and ulna, my forearm, is going to be parallel with the floor. My line of drive is to elongate here. I'm going this way. You keep me from doing that. Watch for muscle recruitment on this one commonly. Relax for a second. The extensor digitorum longus, the toes may start to come up. She may actually start to go into dorsiflexion a little bit for muscle recruitment. If you see that, clean up the examination, get up the position into plantar flexion and into eversion. You can see the tendons popping up. Get into position. I'm going that way. You keep me from doing that. Ready? And hold. Go. And she doesn't have much here. Pretty weak. Want to try that again? And down and hold. All right, there's just not a lot of strength here. Okay, so then now let's check out the tibialis posterior. Plantar flexion and into inversion, it's the same. You take the web of the hand, now go to spleen three region. My line of drive is directly across into inversion, staying in plantar flexion. I'm going this way, you keep me from doing that, and hold. Not much there at all. So her peroneal group and her tibialis posterior as they meet underneath, there's not very much stability here. So we need both of those muscles nice and strong. Let's check out the tibialis anterior. Dorsiflexion, inversion. My pericardium 8 is going to over stomach 42. My line of drive is into plantar flexion and eversion. You can really see the tibialis anterior. Elongate this and hold often extremely strong. This test is also really quite nice to use with an L5 disc problem. If there is a foot drop or if it's going to be weak, you look at the L5 and see if there's any kind of problems with that. All right, in order to treat the pronius longus and brevis and also the tibialis posterior, we can go ahead and treat the motor points. The pronius longus motor point is going to be too soon down from the fibular head. The uh, peroneus brevis is just one soon up from the gallbladder 35, and the tibialis posterior deep to spleen 8. For more information on that, the motor point protocol, protocol videos will be in module 3.